So if you scroll right now on social media, you'll see someone who's making more money, who's in better shape, and it just seems like overall, they live a better life than you. You might have the same exact goals as this person, but they're hitting them and you're not. So today, we're not only gonna find out why that is, but we're gonna solve that issue together. And you just gotta stay with me here for a sec. There are two simple reasons why we don't hit our goals. So let's go over the first one. Instant gratification, that is the expectation. So when that expectation is not met, we quit, we give up, we throw in the towel. It's all about overnight success. It's all about the microwavable stuff, the crash diet, the get rich quick, all that. And I'm gonna tell you the problem with all that. Imagine this, let's say you and I were on a run, right? And when we get to mile two, I tell you before we start running, I say, hey man, when we get to mile two, I'm gonna give you a thousand bucks. You'd probably be like, hell yeah, you could probably run two miles right now. And then when we finally get to mile two, I say, you know what? We're gonna run 26 miles and then I'm gonna give you a thousand dollars. All that hope disappears real quick. And the idea of quitting, hanging up the cleats sounds way more convincing. Now let's flip that story around, right? Me and you were on this run. I say, when we get to mile 26, I'm gonna give you $2,000. And then we get to mile two and I give you the $1,000 early. Would you keep running? This is a trap that I've fallen into so many times. This idea when the work finally starts working, we stop doing the work that got us the results in the first place. And I can guarantee that when you've had goals in the past, you've made progress towards those goals, yet you quit. 99% of the time that this happened to me in my personal life, it's because I was thinking the wrong way about the goal in the first place. Now, let's go back to the story for a sec. If we relate this to real life, the money that you get on that race, it might not come till mile six, it might not come till mile 10, might not even come till mile 20, whatever it is, but it could also come sooner than that. The only way that you wouldn't get the results, the money, whatever it is, is because you stop. So the most important thing in this story, it's not about the money when it will come, it's just the basic principle that you have to keep running to get to the goal. Now imagine if during this race, instead of thinking about the money, you thought about running. How can I run faster? How can I get better endurance? How can I beat the burnout? All that stuff. If you focused on the principle of what's gonna get you to where you wanna go and just improving that process, all the money, all the results, whatever it is, and relate this back to your personal life, it comes as a byproduct. Because I promise you, there are gonna be times, whether it's a goal in business, in the gym, whatever it is, dude, the distance eventually becomes unknown. And the only thing that you have to fall back on is a super strong why and why you started running in the first place. Because it's not about focusing on the finish line, it's focusing on what's gonna get you there. And that leads us to the second reason why we fall short of our goals. High performers don't just run around aimlessly. They don't rely on willpower all the time. They have strategy and systems in place. So when the burnout, the fatigue, all that stuff kicks in, they're ready for it because they've managed expectations beforehand. And that's probably your problem right now is you're trying to white knuckle it. You're trying to rely on willpower alone. And you and I both know in the long run, that doesn't work. They have a plan for when the doubt, the fatigue, all that stuff creeps in and they have a strong ass why to fall back on, to power through that. What you need is a plan. You need a system in place to get you from where you are now to where you want to be. And let's just face the honest truth here. You cannot control when the money comes in, when the body of your dream is realized. You cannot control that shit. But you can focus on the input and the process, the steps that are necessary to get you from point A to point B. So let's break down a real world example. Let's say in your online business that you want to get to $10,000 a month. And let's say that every time you sell your product or service, you make $500 in commission or in profit, meaning you would need 20 deals, 20 deals closed to get to that goal of $10,000 a month. Now let's keep breaking it down further. Let's say to get one deal, it takes you four appointments that you need to set on the calendar. And to get one appointment, it takes you 25 calls. And to make these 25 calls, it takes you two hours. So let's say out of your day, you can do 100 calls per day. This is what you track. This is your new goal. It's the input that's gonna get you to where you wanna be. See, if you can just focus on the process as the system and get the dopamine hit from the work itself, all the results you want will literally come as a byproduct. Now, when you go on social media, I know you, I, I see it too. We see this guy, Jim, right? Jim's making $100,000 a month. He works two hours a day. And me and you buy into this shit that we can just work two hours a day to get to where you wanna be. That's not true. Jim has leverage. Jim has skill. 
He has been in this game long enough, but at one point, he had to work 12 hours a day to get there. The more and more improvement that you get from this skill, it's, it's leverage. You can work less and get away with more. But depending on what point you're at, you don't have that lever yet. So you need to put the reps in. Repetition is the mother of skill. You can relate this to anything. You can relate it to the gym, to your business, whatever you want, sales. It, it literally doesn't matter. Get the dopamine hit and rewire your brain and the goal to focus on the process, the system, the vehicle that's gonna get you to the goal. And then the results just come along the way. Because the scary thing is, is you could hit the goal. You could get to $10,000 a month next month. But I've done this so many times in my life where it's this kill and then eat and then I starve because I hit it. I get the dopamine hit, but I stop doing the work that got me there in the first place. It goes right back to the running story I told earlier. And at the end of the day, people lie, numbers don't. If you have genuine metrics that you can track, you know why things worked and why they didn't in the past because the stats are all there. So now your new goal in your online business is not $10,000 a month necessarily. It's to make 100 calls per day because now you know that's what's gonna get you there and even beyond that. The best teams that I've seen, the best teams that I've been a part of, businesses I've worked with, they all focus on the simple philosophy of just doing your job. We do not rise to the occasion of our goals. We fall to the standards of our systems. An example of this in my life, when our sales team, we were doing 20K a month individually, and I wanted to bring new reps out, so I tell these guys to come out, and I didn't set the right expectations. They thought by rolling with us, it was all sunshine, all rainbows, no rain. And because of that, they didn't understand the things, the process, the steps, the work that they'd have to put in to get to $20,000 a month. They just thought because they're in the opportunity, they didn't have the leverage to work eight hours a day. They have to work 12 hours a day. They have to train. You have to work on your skills. You're at a disadvantage when you start, plain and simple. Whenever you learn something new, you, like you cannot just go step on a basketball court, ISO someone, you, you'll get shit on because you don't have the skills or maybe you do, but they're not enough. You need to put in the work. You have to do the necessary things. You have to move the needle forward, focus on the input, and then eventually you get better. The score takes care of itself. This philosophy, this mindset, this kind of principle that I've adopted in my life, it helped me get to my highest highs in business. And it also got me out of my lowest lows. And you can apply this to any aspect of your life. If it's personal development, if it's the gym, if it's business sales, whatever it is, just find the things, find the work, the ugly stuff that you have to do on a daily and habitual basis to get you to your goal and make that the goal, right? If, if the goal is to bench 225 pounds, just rewire it. Start with the end in mind and work backwards. How many days a week would you have to bench press? How many calories would you have to eat? Just focus on controlling the controllables. I'm, I'm gonna tell you something that no one else will. You cannot control if you make $20,000 this month. You can do the right things that are gonna influence the likelihood of you reaching that goal, but you can't just snap your fingers and make it happen. You need to do the right things, take the right steps, and you need a system that you can rely on instead of this motivation that comes and goes. So this is a lesson that I had to learn the hard way. The whole point of giving this is something that I've learned in my life that completely changed not only what I was capable of, but how I viewed goal setting in general and how I've been able to hit some of the targets that I've made in my life personally. So your situation, it's unique, it's personal to you. If you wanna join the community, it's free. So like I said, until we scale to 50 members, it's free, you can walk through the door free. After that, you're gonna to have to pay to get in. So join while you can, stay in your commitments, stay focused, subscribe to the channel so I can see you next time and take care.